my channel Vida BI SQL. Uh, today I continue with the part 37 of Amazon SQL interview questions and uh, today's topic right is pretty important these kind of questions are kind of I would put it in the intermediate to advanced level SQL interview questions. Uh, there's a high chance that these kind of questions are being asked in senior eng BI engineer, senior data engineer, data architect, even the BI manager, right? A business intelligence manager, data engineering manager, uh, interview questions, right? In the first round itself. But this covers a concept of um, of the Windows function. This is very, very much, you know, uh, is being asked in any SQL interview question, right? This definitely will be covered. If you're giving a data analyst interview or a data engineer interview, this may get asked in a loop. Uh, but uh, you know, for the for the senior roles, this very well can be asked in the initial round itself. So let's get started. So we have an employee table, uh, right? So the employee table uh, has the data of employee underscore ID, uh, employee underscore name, uh, the employee city, employee date of birth, the PIN code, where the employee resides, right? The PIN code and the city, basically, and the salary of an employee. Okay, so pretty straightforward employee table. Uh, what's the name, ID, uh, date of birth, uh, cities, uh, city, state, uh, so pin code, and then uh, date of birth, and then salary, right? Uh, so uh, the question is, list the top three employees by their highest salary, okay? So uh, whenever these kind of ask questions are asked, right, just as I say always, uh, divide the question into different parts. So here is saying list the top three employees, okay? So you have to list top three employees, but top by what? By the highest salary, right? So highest salary means the, the people who are making the highest salary and to list them. So if so, first of all is basically we need to uh, do a descending by salary, correct? So if you run this query, you get that you get a sense, right? That's 340 is the highest salary, then 300 300,000, uh, right? Uh, and then 280,000 and 270,000, right? Uh, so uh, basically we need to list the top three, and I'll get to the top three part of it, right? Because uh, um, that's where the answer lies and then I am going to cover different windows function just to illustrate that um, how how the data can trick you right I mean uh, you know you you need to look at the data pretty closely uh, right I mean it's usually 10 to 15 rows 20 rows maximum so you can easily look at the data uh, you know and then you need to just have, know in your mind that who is going to be what's going to be the answer right and and then work backwards from it um, so uh, in this case right uh, so 340 300,000 that should be also top right top two and then top three right 280,000 so basically we need to get this right uh, uh, as, a, as an answer set okay so for so how to solve that so there are there are different functions to solve this and we'll go through each of them right so basically the so let's let's look at the first function okay let's see the let's see what's the difference okay so let's query select employee id salary okay and then there is a function called row number okay row number and then over so there is a function called over partition by and over order by Right. Uh, here we don't need to partition by because you know we are already partitioning by employee and in salary, right? So we don't need to partition further. Okay. So if you're not putting employee and salary here, you will have to partition by. Okay. But we are going to display employee and the salary, right? So we are going to just use this here, and then we are not going to use the over partition by here. But otherwise, there is a clause over partition by, then order by. Okay. So here, what are we going to do? We are going to over part over order by. What we need to order by salary, right? And then uh, they are asking top paid, top highest or top lowest, right? So they, they're asking top highest. That means we need to do descending just we like we did here, right? If they're asking top lowest, then you don't need to do right. Nothing. It's either ascending. If you don't write anything, it's by default, it takes it as ascending. Okay. So that's over order by. Okay. And uh, we will just name it as row num salary. Okay. Let's run this. Let's see what happens. Okay. So here, what you're going doing is you're just simply what row number is doing. It's simply assigning the, the, the row based on what we're telling them. So it's saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total ten records are there in a, in, in a, in a table. It will display you all ten records. Okay. Ten records. It will show you all ten records. Okay. Now, is this giving you the correct answer? So if you're going to say that, you know, uh, where row num is equal to uh, three, right? Row num is in one, two, three, right? 
is it going to give you correct answer no because what will happen is the top three if you see 340,000, 300,000 and 280,000, right? They are not saying you, they, they are telling you to display the employees making top three. Okay. So these both should employees should be included, right? Because they are making top 300,000. I mean, you can't just exclude one of them. Okay. So you have to include both of them. So we need to take even this row as well, right? So which is basically, uh, you know, uh, it will it, it'll give you the wrong answer uh, because so let's say select employee ID and salary from okay and you need to do this because you know otherwise this function doesn't work okay inside you need to write it as a subquery okay x where x dot ronam cell in we need to do one two three right okay what is happening that the the other guy is not getting selected right see the fourth 280,000 is gone okay now you will say oh looking at the data you know I can say four no, that's not going to work, right? Because see, the interview will tell you it's a small data set. What if you have 50 people making 300,000, right? Pretty much possible, right? I mean, in a, in a company of 50,000 employees, uh, very much possible that, you know, 1,000 employees make 300,000, right? So uh, you, you, can't, you can't say that, right? I mean, you need to solve it through algorithm, I mean, through filtering condition, which works for all kind of data, right? But that's not possible. So what's the other option? Let's, so there is another function called rank. Okay, rank. Okay, and we can just copy paste this because uh, you know it's one and the same thing over order by which we'll say rank. Okay, rank num underscore cell. Now, what happens? Now, do you see what has happened? It's one. It's assigning to like the way we wanted, okay, 300,000, 300,000. And what's happening is since it's assigned to two to two, two rows, it's keeping the next rank. So here also it's not going to work, right? Because if you're going to say rank underscore sum, num underscore cell, okay, what's going to happen? You're still going to skip it because, right? What happened, right? Because it did assign number two to both the matching salaries, but then it is skipping number number three. Okay, so let's say if there are three people making 10,000, what will happen to this row? It will assign the number five. So it's basically going to count the rows and then assign the number, uh, the next number to it. Okay, the how many times it repeats, right? That's also not going to work, right? So what's, so what, how are you going to solve this? So there's another function called dense underscore rank. Okay, so dense underscore rank is basically it's going to let's see what happens if you use dense rank underscore rank okay okay let's run the inner query first okay so now what is happening for row number it is one two three four for this one two two four and here it is one two two and three right so is this going to give you correct answer? Yes, because what it did is if even if you have like two two, right, it did not skip the rank, right? It, it said next is three and the next is four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Like that. Okay. So let's just uh, replace this with dense underscore rank. Okay. Okay. Is that a correct answer? Yeah. It's a correct answer, right? 280. Right? So, uh, this basically is a pretty uh, common questions they are being asked and they will take you a data. I'm pretty sure, you know, that they will put two rows with the same number. So, that way you use the correct answer. Correct. If they asked you, give me the top making employee, top highest employee, all three will work because you need just one rank, right? You need just first person. So, in that case, uh, in that case, Ronam will not work. Sorry, Ronam, because Ronam, what it will do, it will still assign one, two, three, four, right? 
but rank will work yeah rank will work in that case because if this is a matching data it's going to put to one correct so rank and dense rank will work but in this when they are saying top three four just use dense rank okay see uh, there is no harm using the dense rank right i mean uh, the rank and dense rank dense rank views you are going the safest way right even if there are no records which are matching it is the dense rank is going to assign the one two three four right so always use dense rank i would say okay so that's the best way to use this function right to get the top three employees correct so and and, and so this is clear right and and that and and the why did i put in the outside query i mean you 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 will ask me why you, you can't just put this right well uh, it doesn't work like that because uh, you know what happens is see it's not going to work okay it's going to say integer num cell okay uh, so you need to put this in a in a table you need to make this query as a inner query put it in the table and then use it outside okay you need to use it like that okay just always remember that okay so here uh, what is the best answer the best answer is the tens rank so what we did in this video is we compared three different functions their functionalities right uh, and then you know uh what is the best one to use a dense rank is best one to use when they are asking top 2 top 3 top 4 top 5 top 10 right i mean just put in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so basically you know this is the way to solve this and uh, uh, you know uh, i would say just closely practice this i can put uh, i will put the employee table and their insert into scripts right so that way you can see the same data as i am seeing it if i give you the insert into script uh Uh, you know, and then uh, uh, create tables also, and insert into also. You will get the same data that I am seeing on my screen, and you can play around, right? You can play around with different. You can say, okay, give me the top uh, top three employees by zip code, right? So eight zero eight five zero two seven. You will get four employees, right? Just play around with the data, you know, uh, and that way, you know, you will practice a lot. So practice makes it perfect, right? You will make a syntax error here, here and there. uh when it gives you syntax or you'll do some research and you'll fix the syntax right that's the way you will practice the sql okay so that's the best way to practice just get the data create table insert into and then just practice with the data just try the same query i have written and then try and understand the data okay so yeah this is i knew this, this is going to trick you and that's why i'm saying it's just intermediate to uh, advanced level because it uses this functions and you need to use the right function right okay All right. So I hope this uh, video was useful to you guys. If that's the case, please like uh, my videos and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.